Hello, my name is Kevin and welcome to the Love Decanters channel. So today I'm going to talk about and show you the um, Whitefriars M60 decanter because um, yeah, everybody likes a cheeky M60. Um, they're very nice little decanters. Um, I have a few of them, um, some a bit rarer, and I also have some of the glasses that, that go with them. So I will show you those too. Um, to start out, I will show you a few references um, so that you can see that I'm not bullshitting you any, about anything. So um, yeah, let's let's get on with this then. As I did before, I'm going to start with the uh, White Friars, James Powell and Sons of London book, uh, the Wendy M. Evans book. And um, going in here, here we go. A little, little short decanter. So a little, that's why I called it cheeky, a little dumpy decanter with a little dumpy stopper, little dumpy glasses. And um, here's a different later. So yeah, the, this was, um, these decanters were designed by Barnaby Powell, 1935 is what the books tell me. Um, and they were made through to 1960. And I've seen that in, in the catalog, online catalogs. Um, so here you are with it as a as a picture in a 1949 catalogue. Uh, I'm pretty certain if I flick through other pages, you'll see it again because it appears a few times in this book. Um, so that's where it is in this book. So this is the next book I'm going to show you. White Fries Glass, The Art of James Powell and Sons, edited by Leslie Jackson. Um, in the first half of it, before it gets around to the hardcore pictures, it's got this little um, catalogue advertisement or something from 1936. Um, and then when you get into the book, and this is where the good bit is, uh, yeah, this is what you want in a book. Lots of pictures. You've got here, tells you 1935 to 1960s. Oh, nicely done down. Um, in the catalogues I've seen, it doesn't mention. Well, we've got here with golden amber, sea green, and this is emerald. Uh, the books don't mention emerald. I've never seen one. I don't have one. I would like to have one, but I don't. So, um, yeah, and the glasses. You can see um, in the catalogue, it also tells you that they come in flint as well. So I have a little something on that too. So this is a page from the 1957 catalogue that I've downloaded from online. I will give you a link to that in the description for this video. And um, yeah, what's interesting this, so in this, and I've got a page from 1960 as well, there, which is not very clear, but that's how it looks. Um, in all the other pages that we have from catalogues, um, there's just this glass, uh, uh, this decanter and this glass and no other shapes. And then suddenly a 1957 catalog, um, we've got all of these other glass shapes and a jug. Um, seeing as this is the most common shape that you see, I can only presume they only made these other shapes for a few years at the end. Um, yeah, I have one of these other glasses, so um, I'll show you. But yeah, you rarely ever see any of the other glasses. It's always this glass shape that you see. And yeah, I've never seen the jug, I'm sure. I'm looking at this picture very carefully now, and if I see one, I'll, I'll obviously snaffle it because I've got the decanter and things. So the first decanter I'm going to show you is the um, golden amber one. You can see they're not big decanters. Um, they're a bit awkward to hold with one hand. If that's full, that's an awkward shape to tip and pour because there's no grippy handle piece like that. Nice little stoppers with the number on it. This one's very clear. Number 36. And if you look on them get it to the right spot oh, oh, 
Or is that 56? It's difficult to tell. Anyway, I think it's the same number. It's trying to be the same number. So, yeah. There you go. Nicely going. So that's the first one in gold and amber. So here's the next one I have in sea green. It has matching numbers on it as well. Can you see there? It's got 41 on there as well. Oh, one thing I didn't show you before. Little pontal mark right there in the middle. Can you see? Yep. So the pontal mark's quite small in the middle. All the way is usually kind of around here. So that's a sea green one. I did have one, one, one once which was a slightly different shade. Um, because I had so many duplicates, I decided to um, get get rid of some of them, and yeah, I didn't know what to do. I, I can't remember which, 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 whether this was the one which was a different shade or the other one. Um, but yeah, I can't show you that now. So this is um, something exciting if you are a White Horizon nerd. Um, in the 1950s, they did the clear ones and they cut patterns on them. They did three patterns. I don't think they did it for very long. So these are quite rare. I don't know what this pattern is called. I've tried very hard to find out. Um, again, it's got the number matching on the edge there somewhere. And um, no, it's got a cut uh, star pontal there. Yeah, so if anybody can tell me what this pattern number is, I would really like to know. Because I've gone on Facebook, tried to find out. Um, yeah, someone even showed me a bit of my own website saying, oh, this is a good reference, but yeah, uh, as it was my website, I still didn't know. So, um, yeah. So here's another um, 1950s cut one for the um, White Frost Nerds. This pattern is called, let me look again, just to make sure I put this right. It's... Um, C455. Yeah, I had to. I looked through a lot of stuff until I found something else using this pattern and gone, yay! There it is. Um, it's got the number, it's number six. Um, Star Pontal. But this is a really. It, I think this looks better on this decanter than it did on the other thing that they were showing you. I think it was a vase or something. Um, but how cool is that? The way it stretches across the decanter. Really nice. I like this one a lot. I'm, I'm not really into this kind of like traditional cut glass, but this is a little bit off the edge. And the way they've stretched it over the shape, I think it looks great. So, yeah, that's quite another one that's quite rare. There is a third pattern. I don't have it. Um, I'll just have to keep my eyes open forever, probably. So I decided not to keep you in suspense with the glasses. Um, so I'm showing you all three of the different kinds I have. I do actually have several of each of these um, because these are the more common ones. Yeah, this is what they're like. Um, this is, uh, I think this is the liqueur. What's interesting is that, and and it'll probably be, at, towards the end of the production, these ones I just got they don't have polished pontals, yeah. So if you pick something up and think it's low quality, um, yeah, so, so not all white fries glasses have polished pontals, they're quite thick, so they don't ring very well. The tiny one even rings are even worse. But it does have a polished pontal. Yeah. So that's a bit different. And the shade is slightly paler. But you can, just looking at it, you can see, yeah, it's out of the same stable. So I think these are whiskies. This is a liqueur. And um, that's all of the, well, as I said, I've got, I think I've got about three or four of those. I might even have a full set of six of those. Um, but yeah, you, you see these around. So, yeah, keep an eye out for them. So, that's the end of this video. As I said earlier, the um, catalogues, I will give you a link to the catalogues 
in the description for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, if anybody does know what that pattern is, I would like to know so I can add it to my website. And um, yeah, I do have enough uh, white fries decanters, probably do about another three or four ones, which are just on individual pattern numbers. So yeah, it's going to be so exciting for everybody, um, especially if you're a white fries nerd. So um, yeah, um, so if you want to see some of those other videos when I get around to doing them, uh, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.